Believe it or not, you do not believe that you are going to die. Itenandam, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. Swamiji said that in one satsang, and when he said it, I did not grasp it at first. And uh, today, actually, I was cooking and uh, it clicked with me. And I'll share the click that I got. Swamiji said, every human being is in a form of delusion where they do not feel they are going to die. At the same time, he said, um, it's actually a truth, but we are not going to die because we are pure consciousness and pure consciousness does not die. But we believe that we, the click I got is that we believe that we are not going to die even though we are strongly associated to the idea that we are body, that we are mind. We are not associated to the idea that we are consciousness. We are immortal and eternal is a truth. But it, to be realized, you need to realize your consciousness. As long as your body and mind, mind and body will perish at some point. So thinking that you are eternal, that you're not going to die while being associated to mind and body is a huge delusion. And this is the click I got. How can I say that uh, I do not think that I'm going to die? And that also leads to, uh, I'm seeing a lot of the people who are abusing, they abuse again in the same thought current that, you know, uh, we are brainwashed, we are mind controlled, we are not ourselves, we lost our self-sovereignty, we lost our critical thinking, and they have all different arguments um, to, to, to justify their claim that we are brainwashed. But um, But the truth is, Again, what clicked with me today? How can I say that you do not believe you're going to die? This delusion, what I realized also, is very much linked to this feeling of being suffocated, of not being able to express uh, myself, not able to be myself, not allowed to, you know, just be who I am without being uh, experiencing some form of stress, whether it is the judgments of others or whatever it is. If you are facing a situation which you do not like, you are not resonating with that situation, okay? Most of us, if not, actually, anybody who is not enlightened, in front of that situation, will, most of, will compromise in some way. Why? Because he believes that it is okay to compromise because he has time to bring back that integrity. It's okay to lose integrity a little bit in this moment because I still have time to restore my integrity afterwards. I'll give an example after. If you're going to die and you're facing a situation you don't want, will you be integrated to what you cognize? Or will you do something because, um, because uh, uh, something that you do not feel fully aligned to? You will do what you cognize. Why? Because there's nothing else to lose. I'm going to, I'm going to die in the next moment. So I might as well be authentic now. It's not, I'm not going to gain anything. I'm going to leave the body afterwards. So... Swamiji was saying enlightenment is the great death, the great death. Not the death of the body and mind, but going beyond death. At every moment in life, we need to be authentic to ourselves. We need to be integrated to what we cognize. This idea that okay, it's okay for me to compromise temporarily on what I cognize is a delusion. Because we forget that we are going, that the body and mind is going to die. And you, we cannot experience your, uh, our consciousness if we are not authentic with ourselves. So, 
I don't I, I don't know if you're following me. It's it's a little bit messy, but body and mind is going to perish. Consciousness is eternal. The powerful cognition of consciousness is sitting inside of us, making us feel that we have the time in front of us. Because of that feeling, we decide to compromise in many situations in our life and not be authentic with ourselves because we feel that it's okay, I'll bring my integrity back afterwards, or it's only temporary. We compromise on various things and at different levels. There's different levels of compromisation. And then when we compromise, we start to build the hangover of compromising. And we start to, when we accumulate that too much, at some point we just feel, I'm not myself. Well, yeah, of course you're not yourself. Because every time, in every moment, you compromise on something that you cognize. So why? Because you think you're eternal. But fact is, you are not until you realize consciousness. Until you realize your consciousness, fear of death will be inside of you. But we think, we, we strategize in life with the feeling that I am going to live forever, but with the fear of death, which is the kind of the weird space that we are in as humans when you cognize yourself as a human being and not as Paramashiva in the space of Paramashivoham. So it's a little bit tricky. I hope you're following me here. Uh, I hope I'm clear enough. If I'm not clear, leave a comment if you have any questions. Um, but basically, we have to be authentic with ourselves in every decision we make. To whatever we cognize, we have to be authentic and keep seeking, keep cherishing surrender to experience that consciousness. But in the process of experiencing your consciousness as you, um, we have to be authentic. If you're not authentic, you are deluded. And that delusion is primarily there because of this feeling that you're not going to die. But the fact is, the you, the, the me that I cognize as me, as long as I'm not enlightened, is going to die. So that me should not afford to think I'm not going to die. That me should be as authentic as possible until you realize you are consciousness and that you are beyond death. But then when you realize your consciousness, everything changes because your whole, your, your inner space becomes totally different. So it's no longer a question once you are uh, fully established in that space. So yeah, that's what I want to share in this video. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, thanking you again for watching these videos and uh, listening to the clicks and cognitions that I've been having since I'm with Swamiji and living this lifestyle of Sanatana Dharma as a Hindu Brahmachari. So, uh, Inviting you to become an Ikai Lashavasi again in the description below if you want to know uh, everything that we are doing, the greatest Hindu nation and what Swamji is doing, what is up to. It's a free uh, membership, you register. It's an online citizenship. It's a spiritual citizenship. Spiritual citizenship just for you. And you can, uh, you can get in, you can follow, you know, how things are evolving. You can, uh, you'll be updated about everything that is going on and what we're doing and how we can contribute to your life. So with this, I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, no.